ICP, it's just battering through its resistance levels. It's going through one by one. We've hit our weekly resistance. We're waiting for the pullback, we're waiting for the break, and then the next move to the upside. And here we have it. So we had a few positive bullish things going on for ICP. First and foremost, the thing that we talked about last video was this golden cross. So we've had the 200 moving over the 50. We've had the 50 flagging up. That's bullish. We've got the 20 moving average on its merry way. So we're waiting for pullbacks. Where could we pull back to? This 20 moving average is a place that we could pull back to expect support at that place and expect to reanalyze and reassess at this level. So we've got our weekly resistance and our weekly support built in here. We've got the weekly support built in in green, weekly resistance levels built in in red. We expected price once it had broken through this previous resistance to flip support to go through and test its next resistance level. And look how it tested it and look at these wicks here. Rejection wicks, rejection wicks. We expected price to react. We expect us price to pull back. How far do we expect price to pull back to? And when do we know when we're wrong? So a simple 61.8% retracement of the previous move to the top of the previous high. And we're looking for 61.8. So 61.8. And this is lower time frame support. So this is daily. So this is daily support. The daily support doesn't hold as much as the weekly. So this is a 61.8% retracement. And that is sitting at $11.56. What that allows for is tight stop losses. If you are taking trades on the break, stops below the previous low. And then apply the appropriate risk management. So what we're looking for, I've built a couple of characters here for you guys. And just to simplify things, we're looking for this guy here to take out previous resistance and then flip support. This is our bull. So we're looking for him to break resistance and flip support. So this guy's gonna stay on the green. We need him to break through the red. We need him to pull back and turn that green. So this is the guy that he needs to break. This is the guy that he needs to beat. This is the level one resistance boss. And he is sitting between $14.45 at the bottom end and the top end, $15.55. So this guy, what we need to do is break through, bam, take him out. This will then act as, was previous resistance, this will then act as support. We can flip this green, turn our ball green for his merry way for the next move. So this is the importance, guys. We can do this together. It's simple. We're going to use characters. We're going to take this guy to the actual moon. But before we take him to the moon, he's got to break through our resistance levels. He's got to take out, got to take out these bosses here. And then this level boss here, this level boss is the next resistance sitting at 22.62 at the bottom end and 24.74 to the top end. Are we shooting for this guy? No, because we haven't taken this guy out yet first. So that's what I'm looking for. We need to break through. We need a break of this flag to the upside. We need to take out the weekly resistance levels, and then we can start moving our merry way up to higher levels. So that's what I'm looking for in ICP. How do we know when we're wrong? We need to analyze and assess Bitcoin. Bitcoin's ETF's been trading. It's a three-day holiday in America, so expect a bit of choppiness over the weekend. Trading's not going to be open for the ETFs on Monday, so it's going to be three days without any ETF trading. So expect a bit of choppiness, expect a bit of sideways action, prepare yourself, make sure you apply the appropriate stop losses, and I'll see you in the next one.